So right off the bat, open up your third person controller script in Visual Studio. Next up, add in a new function called move pivot. This simple function just sets the point in which our camera rotates to be at the player controller position with an offset added. Next up, create another function called move controller. First, this function gathers the movement key input, then it will check if the input gathered is not zero altogether. If there is input, then the character controller move function will be called with the forward vector of the controller multiplied by a speed value and delta time. After doing the player controlled movement, we then do some physics mathematics to apply gravity onto the player when they are not grounded. Now to top it all off, run the functions within the update method of the class. And with that complete, if you go back into the editor, set your gravity and move speed and click play. You will be able to look and move around in third person. That is all for this mini-series, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.